then I am asking for you to go out tomorrow or sooner, but I don't know, you tend to like to vote on Election Day, right? We all do. And vote. It's going to be the most important election, in my opinion, in the history of our country. I never thought I was going to say it. If you would have told me I was going to say that four years ago, I would have said, you're crazy. Joe Biden is a corrupt politician who raked in millions from China while giving them your jobs. He's a corrupt, he's a corrupt politician. You see it. Tomorrow you have the power to do so much for our country. You have the power to vote. So go out and vote. Unless you're going to vote for somebody other than me, in which case, sit it out, don't worry. And when the Supreme Court gave you an extension, they made a very dangerous situation, and I mean dangerous, physically dangerous, and they made it a very, very bad, they did a very bad thing for this state. They did a very bad thing for this nation. You have to have a date. You can't extend dates. The danger that could be caused by that extension, and especially when you know what goes on in Philadelphia, and it's been going on for years. So, Governor, open up your state, and please don't cheat, Governor. Please don't cheat. Because we're all watching. We're all watching you, Governor. We've got a lot of — we have a lot of eyes on the Governor and his friend. But this guy is a stone-cold phony, and — and honestly, he's not equipped mentally to be your President. He really is. And by the way, just so you understand, because, look, Joe, Joe is — has no clue, okay? Just — Joe's — Joe's not — he's not calling the shots. And I guarantee he won't be calling them for very long. This election comes down to a simple choice. Do you want to be ruled by the corrupt, selfless political class, or do you want to be ruled and governed by the American people, which is what we're doing, which is one of the reasons I'm doing it. Joe Biden's actually talking about shutting down the economy. Another one of his surrogates on TV over the weekend said, everything's on the table. Well, let me tell you something. President Donald Trump and I are going to keep opening up America again. We're going to have a vaccine. We're going to defeat the virus and bring America back bigger and better than ever before. Tomorrow, you and Americans all over the country will go to the polls to vote for the next leader of the United States. I think we all agree we need my husband as our Commander-in-Chief for four more years. This election, this election is critical to our future as citizens and the future of our country. When you vote tomorrow, you are choosing between a Washington outsider who will continue to do all he can to improve our country, a president with America first agenda and proven results. Or you can choose Joe Biden. A career politician of over four decades with no results to point to. We have a law and order president. A president that fully supports our men and women in uniform. We have a faith in our judges and legal system to rule justly. We protect our heritage and we condemn all hate. It was under president's leadership that our country took down two of the world's most dangerous terrorists. As long as there are evil people who want to do us harm, my husband and our great military will hunt them down and protect our country. Woo!